Hey, Mr. Willis again here and some more tips moving forward on using Google Slides. So if you have a title slide completed, uh, it's now time to go to work creating the rest of your slides, which will fill up this section over here and be the majority of your presentation. To add a new slide is pretty quick, pretty simple. There's a button right up here with the plus sign. You can either click directly on the plus sign which is automatically going to make a new slide and its default go-to is to make something that has kind of a title and then what they call a title and body, the section down here. Uh, another option you have is if you hit the arrow next to the plus sign, you can decide if you want a different layout to be used, uh, you can do that. So maybe you want uh, something that has kind of this big number in the middle. Maybe you want something like this where it kind of has a title, a subtitle, and kind of some sort of description off to the side here. Um, that's for you to decide. Now that said, I'm going to go ahead and delete this extra slide that I made here. Once you have a slide uh, created, if you want to change the layout, you might remember me showing you this on an earlier video, all you have to do is go to slide, apply layout, and you can pick something new there. Okay, and if you pick something new, it's automatically going to switch it, although it's probably not a good idea to have two title slides right in a row. So I'm going to go back to this. Uh, once you're here, you can go ahead and start typing things in. So I'm doing a slideshow about animals. The first animal I'm going to do is an aardvark. You might ask, why do an aardvark first? I say, why not do an aardvark first? What's wrong with you? They're awesome. Uh, once you have kind of a title up here, down here in the body area, you get to decide what you're going to I just misspelled aardvark, didn't I? Hey, here's a little fun extra Google tip. If Google catches you misspelling something, watch this. Right click on it, it's gonna say, hey, Mr. Willis, idiot, did you mean aardvark like that? I did. Click it, it's fixed, awesome. Okay, um, so let me go back down here to the body. Now this is where, uh, once again, depending on what project you're doing, is going to affect what's in here. You could just put a picture in this section. If you're going to add a picture, you can use the insert image button up here or use the explore panel, which I'll show in a, in a different video. You might also uh, instead want to main, mainly have some information down here. And so you could either just type in some text or if you want, want it a little more formatted, here's what I usually like to do on slides like this. You have two options up here for either a numbered list or a bullet list. And this lets you keep things so like number one, aardvarks are awesome. And as soon as I hit enter, you see how it gives me a number two. So if I have several facts I'm wanting to list in a particular order, I can do that. If you don't need a particular order but just need each one marked off, maybe the bullet list here instead would be a better idea, which would look like this, just a little bullet point for each one. Uh, but those are some of the, the go-tos on just uh, getting your slide going, filled out with information, and have fun.